Hi and welcome to my channel everybody. Today I'm going to show you four small camera hacks that I use that basically don't require any budget and don't require any fancy equipment if you will. So let's get started. Okay, so I quickly want to point out that these hacks won't revolutionize your way of filming or anything. I have not reinvented the wheel with those things. But they're just little small hacks and tricks that might come in convenient every once in a while. So the first thing I have for you I call the shoe pod. Now this is what I use for when I want to get a shot from a really low angle, really low point of view. Of course I could either go for one of those sandbags or steady bags or a baby pod, tripod, but First of all, these things cost a lot of money and they're a pain in the ass to carry around. This thing, this is like four kilos already. I could alternatively go for like one of those Joby Gorilla Pods I have in the bag, but again, this is like 50 bucks already and we want to keep our budget as low as possible. So what I use, you guessed it by the name already, I just use my shoe. I take off my shoe and use this as the shoe pod. It's perfect for those spontaneous creative ideas that you get on the spot. Say you want to do a time lapse from a really low point of view. Just take off your shoe, place the camera on it, boom, there's your shoe pot. I also use this for the puzzle scene in my film Don't Wait Go Create when I put the camera on top of the puzzle just on the table. All right, off to the second hack I have for you. Now I call this the one-sided strap. You know the strap that comes with your camera body when you buy it? I barely use that because I always feel like I look like a typical tourist idiot with those. But what you can do instead is you can just tie both ends to one side of your camera. This way you have it hanging on one side and are much more flexible with it. Plus the left strap doesn't bother you when you're trying to press any buttons. I know that there are special sling straps or speed straps that you can buy that work like that, but this thing comes with your camera, why not use it? So the third hack I have for you, I call the Landscapes Crunchy. Now I can't tell you how many landscapes I've lost over the years working as a cameraman. These little things, they always fall in between cracks. I, I put it down somewhere, I go film, I forgot where I put them. And even if I put it inside my pocket, my pants or my shirt or whatever, when I go look for it, it's never in the first pocket I go for, so I always start to panic. So my girlfriend actually came up with this great idea to tape a scrunchie or a hair tie on top of the lens cap. So that way when you take the cap off of the lens, you can just simply strap it around your wrist. This way you won't lose it. Plus, if you want to be really organized with it, you can even label your lenses so that you immediately know which one to grab out of your bag. Alright, so the last hack I have for you I call the color light leak. Now you've probably seen Peter McKinnon's video of his camera hacks where he shows you how to do your own light leaks or impact lights. He simply uses a light source to project light into the lens. Now based on that I want to show you how to make those impact lights more colorful. All you need is a transparent sheet that you may have flying around in your office and some colored markers or sharpies. Simply paint the transparent sheet any color you like and use it as a foil between the light and the lens. For more creative impact lights you can mix the colors or even use nail polish because they have a bigger variety of colors than sharpies or pens. Alright guys, there you have it, four small camera hacks that I use that are totally inexpensive but practical. Let me know what you think of my hacks and the creative names I've given them, like the shoe pod, I love this, the shoe pod by MFG Borgi. Also, what are your personal camera hacks? What are the things that you invented on the spot? Let me know, I'd love to read them in the comments below. And also, this is still a very young channel, so I'm grateful for everyone who leaves a thumbs up and subscribes to my channel. Until then, don't wait, go create. Auf Wiedersehen. Now where did I put that lens cap? I had it some. I could have sworn I had it somewhere.